What is going on guys, Leather Ops here today. I'm gonna to be doing a gameplay for you guys for you guys as I've not done one in ages. And the main topic of my channel seems to be Black Ops 3 at the moment, so why not do a video a gameplay which is also Black Ops 3 related, so yeah. Um a lot of love on the Black Ops 3 videos, so I was gonna to continue to do them, so I'm gonna to try to do a split commentary, so here we go. Now the subject of what I'm going to be talking about today is whether or not I think EXOs should be in Black Ops 3 or should not be and if I am excited that they are or are not in. Um, if they are or not, are not in Black Ops 3. And I know many of you have probably already seen the trailer and it's been confirmed by other YouTubers that I've been to the actual multiplayer event and confirmed that there is actually no EXOs but I'm just going to give you my honest opinion as I've seen this as a big topic at the moment. So guys, in, in my opinion, I would think it is good that... Still my kill. I think it's a good thing that... Good thing that Black Ops 3 does not have EXOs now. The reason for me saying is this is because I think one of the main reasons, ah, uh, one of the main reasons I think Call of Duty Ghost was not as as successful as it could have been, is because it was really too similar to all the previous Call of Duty titles like Black Ops Two, then went straight to Ghost, and it was pretty much the the exact same. And there was no, no different, nothing really separated Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, and people were just pretty much bored of things being the same. And now, Sledgehammer Games made Advanced Warfare, which is, I think, most of, its, most of its success came down to it was different from previous Call of Duties. So, guys, I think, that's a, I think it's a really good thing that the other good thing that the Black Ops 3 does not have EXOs. I know it does have like the thrust jump, I believe it's called, which is similar to um, similar to the EXO suit, but more refined and has a better feel to it on using it, and is controlled and can be used in a more controlled controlled environment. If you know what I'm saying. And I can't really find anybody at the moment, so what was I talking about? Oh yeah, that's right, Black Ops 3, so... I think if the next Call of Duty by Activision did have some some kind of actual EXO movement, really similar to Advanced Warfare, I think that'd be okay, but... I think if... Something people are also going to get bored of is the futuristic setting, because... It's because Black Ops 2, ever since I can really remember, for a long time now, it's been a futuristic set setting. Black Ops 2 was future, Ghost was future, Advanced Warfare's future, and I think Black Ops 3 is, yeah, Black Ops 3 is definitely future. That's at least four Call of Duties in a row that have been in a future setting, so I think people are going to get pretty bored with it. I mean, it was cool the first couple of times we had it, but now it's just, it's wearing thin. And shit, my camera just died, so I just went down to replace the batteries. So, completely lost my train of thought. Oh, two piece. No. Ah. Personally, guys, I would really, 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 really like to see Black Ops 3 just take on the same, exactly the same nature of Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2, still to this day, is probably one of the most damn it's camping one of the most successful Call of Duty games maybe ever maybe COD 4 was a big hit but World at War but probably third most best rated Call of Duty game let me just open this pack see what I get BAM nothing good nope 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 Damn. Once we do get a confirmed date for the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta, I will be 
pre-ordering so once the beta comes out I can bring you guys some early ish gameplay I know it's not for a while yet but I thought I'd may as well mention it in one of these videos so yeah people are straight up leaving look at the purple armor so sexy so yeah and gonna leave so guys to summarize on Black Ops 3 my opinion on it or whether or not as long as it's not in a, the exos aren't similar to, not, well I say exos the thrust jumping isn't similar to exos I'm gonna be pretty much happy with it if it's similar to Black Ops 2 that's gonna be absolutely amazing and if maybe got some classic guns from Black Ops 2 in um, Black Ops 3 that is just gonna cherry on the cake baby I tell you what that would be awesome don't know about anybody else but personally I'd like to see the PDW and the DSR or Ballista as guns that could return from Black Ops 2 into number 3 look at me shitting on these kids I've actually never played Momentum seriously I don't even know how it works. Help me. Most of the reason, guys, is that I don't really want exosuits. I've never actually played a Call of Duty game with my scuff controller, so I'd like to see how it really plays out and not be able to do the double jumping and all the random movements. It's gonna it's gonna be hard to get used to at first, but I think if it's any, anything similar to Black Ops 2, we're, they're going to be Treyarch are going to be on to a winning game right there. It's going to be very successful and it's going to win a lot of people over. If it's anything similar to Black Ops 2, I don't know about anybody else, but Black Ops 2, awesome game. So guys, I want two things from you today. I want you to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I tell tell a lie. I want a third thing. I want you to let me know down below in the comments section below if you've played Black Ops 2 and if you have, what gun would you like to see return from? Let me just kill this kid. Nope, maybe not. What gun would you like to see return from Black Ops 2 into Black Ops 3? I'd be interested to know. Um, mine again are the either the snipers, the two good snipers, the blister and the DSR and the PDW or the MSMC because they just, in my opinion, were the best guns and I'm just getting absolute shit on I like playing, I'm just like talking to you guys, it's distracting me from my game but I'd rather play I'd rather make YouTubers, YouTube videos at the moment since I am Grandmaster and Call of Duty is a bit boring for me at the moment that's why I'm so hyped for Black Ops 3 and we got like six months still. Crap. So guys, I just want to know if the split commentary style of videos is okay. If you'd like it, I can do more of them. Or if you just want to see straight up commentaries like a few of my other videos, it's just like straight up talking. Just straight away, so... Uh, that's basically all I've got to talk about, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, basically. Um, like the video, give me a like rating, subscribe if you have not done so already. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm really close to 50 subscribers, and that for me is a big landmark for my YouTube channel. So that's it for now. I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea or something. And yeah, that was a really short game by momentum. So hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out. Peace.